Virgo, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for April 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see. There we go. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Emperor. You're feeling secure about something here. There, there's, I mean, there's some ups and downs, but there's more ups than downs. So I feel like that's where you feel like, oh, okay, you know, your, your confidence is kind of boosting when things are working out fine here. But uh, let's see, in the recent past, the Tower, the Moon, the King of Cups. Ooh, I mean, there's love here in a situation, but there's also commotion. And I don't know of what kind, because I can't see much. For now in the current situation the high priestess the temperance card the five of wands there's a little bit of a, an edgy kind of an energy here i'm not sure what this is about uh but i feel like either there's been a fight and things aren't settled down yet i don't know um but it's almost looking like you know in time things will settle down and everything's going to be okay kind of a thing so there's also that insight here attached to this because i don't see this as a full-blown okay you're arguing all the time get the hell out of the house you know i don't see that but i do see that energy of mm, tensed up energy here um in the immediate future the lovers the ace of wands the wheel of fortune there's a connection that shows up here very nice there's energy being put into it very nice energy there's a change to that which i don't know what that means but let's clarify Let's do the Emperor. The King of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups. This comes in as a... I don't know if it's been predetermined within a relationship you have, or it's just kind of a an unspoken status quo here but there's definitely a sense of uh the provider kind of turning their back for a little bit i don't know why it's almost looking like they're shifting their focus maybe outside of where they're at um within the the, the stable um situation that they probably have with you but it looks like they're shifting their focus and they're 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 not looking to be present they're not looking to be here necessarily and that creates a lot of sadness you know so i don't know who that is and who i get the sense that you're the one that's upset about this but i don't know who that is if it's you or them Let's do the tower in the recent past. The seven of wands, the five of pentacles, the seven of cups. This is an energy of an ending and of moving on. I don't know if that happened. I'm not 100% sure that it happened. Um, but I am seeing it as um, a massive something happened that led to th this energy. Which again, I'm not sure if it's been fulfilled, you know, um, because I see a rejection over that. Like, no, I don't want to move on. You know, no, I don't want for this to be over. But something did happen that was quite nasty there by the looks of it. That brought you very, very close to this energy. Um, let's do the moon. Queen of Swords, the Moon, the High Priestess. Right. Yeah, because intuitively someone knew exactly what they wanted and knew exactly what the situation was about. And it was about love, ultimately. Whatever the hell happened there, it could have been worked on if there was willingness on both parties, you know? I feel like it was a push so much uh, into some nasty energies here 
that it may have brought you to the realization, you or them or the both of you, to the realization of, oh shit, I could lose this. If I push it one more inch, I could lose this. And it was, it gave you that, oof, you know, that, that realization of you know, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that was a close call right there. But then I see the, the core of the situation. And again, it shows up as love. Let's do the King of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Nine of Swords. Yeah, there is love and it is being shared. Uh, there's energies of partnership here too. Um, there's a lot of stressing about the situation though. There's so much stressing about it. Instead of these energies to just be allowed to flow, it's kind of like, well, they're flowing, but let's direct them. Or why are they flowing like this? Or look at the color of the flow. That's not right. You know, who knows? There's a lot of extra energy at play here that creates a lot of stress over these let's do the high priestess in the current situation the fool the star the six of swords right. i mean you know you you know what you want out of this situation you know exactly what you want the problem is when you get very close to what you want you bail almost like i don't deserve this you know, like, no, 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 not for me. You know, happiness or achievement here, not for me. So you have the tendency to bail on your own dreams, your own desires here. Or at least this is what the situation is supposed to teach you. Let's do the temperance card. <clears throat> the nine of pentacles, the sun, the queen of pentacles. Whoever wants to give this time, because things might get better, is right um there's still this energy right here i'm like why are you not you but you the both of you why is there still a little bit of an edgy kind of an energy to this uh because someone wants to you know there's definitely time at place where things look way better more stable more happy uh but let's look at that five of wands hold on Come on, you stupid. Man, I hate when that happens. It's like, you get me all excited for nothing. These sneezes, I swear to God. It left. Let's do the five of wands. The emperor, the three of wands, the ten of swords. Oh, okay. Remember what I told you in the beginning of the reading? Somebody shifts their focus, possibly someplace else. Maybe they're busy at their job or who the hell knows. Uh, that's why this edgy energy is still here because insecurities show up. Oh, they're not present. Oh, so they don't want to be here. Oh, so this is going to be done. Oh. No, none of that. Unless you create it. And you have the tendency here to create it. You know, all of those what ifs. Uh, the only thing that is happening here is that someone shifted their attention for five minutes someplace else. And then look what, look at what that can create if you let it. You know? Because things look perfect here. If you give it time, if you give this situation time and space and love, that's it. It runs. It runs like a, like a machine. If you start to question and wonder and doubt, and which all elements of fear that are coming from here, from your head, not your heart, uh, and it's gonna create this edginess to this, you know. Um, so, as to the lovers in the immediate future. The Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Swords. Right. There's a lot of healing happening in the background here, or someone is wanting to commit themselves to a lot of healing. And I feel like it's you. You know, uh, there's a little less focus on this connection or on the other person, which is great if you're pulling that focus from what you're creating here uh, and put it towards yourself. 
So it's kind of like, I'm not going to focus on this anymore because there's nothing I can do about it anyway, but I can do something about me. And then there's the energy of, okay, let's start healing, you know, or I don't know, whichever way it, it's starting to be directed more towards you than towards this connection. Let's do the Ace of Wands, which is great because it's probably needed anyways. For the Ace of Wands, in the immediate future, you get the Three of Swords, the Devil, the Knight of Pentacles. Whatever action, words you got going their way, uh, if it's coming from a place of pain, do not. It looks like projection. It looks like it might get nasty. Um, you're hurting for some reason, maybe because you are creating all of these scenarios of what could possibly happen because they're not paying attention to what's going on here and they're focused someplace else. And that in itself, all of the what ifs is gonna create pain. That pain might come out as anger and I see action going outward. Um, <clears throat> not the greatest energy right here to push that energy outward because it's gonna probably come in as very passionate, very fiery and not in the best way. So you've been warned, take it easy instead, breathe, Make sure you're coming from an honest place within yourself, not from a painful place within yourself, you know, because it might create commotion. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the immediate future. The Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups. This energy, I see them taking a break, yes. I don't know for how long, I have no idea. But I do see the energies coming back around and they're coming back around in a very beautiful way. They're bringing in happiness. And good times. It's just going to take a little bit. Because again, I'm not sure for how long their shift is going to be off of this and possibly someplace else. I do see a coming back around of energies with beautiful energy here attached to that. Uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Three of Swords. It's kind of the same thing where, but I kind of see you from this perspective of the universe that you're trying to look at all of that, you know, the scenarios you're creating, the all of everything, the what ifs that are bringing in pain for you, because ultimately that's what you're doing and how you're coming from that at times, not only for this situation, but I feel like you're looking at it as a lesson, like learning from that. Okay, let's see where I'm projecting out of my own anger and frustration, and, you know, so it's interesting and then the knight of pentacles is attached to it in the reading so it's kind of looking like you're even though yeah it may show up at times and you may still do it at times i get the sense that you're learning from it as it's happening you know um so that's great that's a lot of insight you're getting here so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye